Welcome to the lesson, an introduction to open and digital data. I'm Andres Passiano from Water Resources Research and Documentation Center. The goals of this lesson are to introduce the main characteristics that distinguish open data, giving a general vision of producers and web platforms that release open data, and finally, explain the concept of digital geographic data and big data as complementary and innovative source of data. Open data are useful to improve public knowledge and awareness and to improve scientific research on actual social, environmental, economic and cultural processes and dynamics. So what are the main characteristics that distinguish an open data? First of all, Availability and access. Data must be available at no more than a reasonable reproduction cost, preferably by downloading over the internet in a convenient and modifiable form. Second, reuse and redistribution. The data must be provided under terms that permit reuse and redistribution, including the intermixing with other datasets. And finally, universal participation. Everyone must be able to use and reuse and redistribute data. The actors that generally produce and release open data through free accessible web platform are usually government and public administration, such as ministries, local administration, municipalities, or national statistic institution. Then, Another source are international organizations, for example, the United Nations, UNESCO, World Bank, European Union, and so on. Other actors are specialized agencies, for example, IPCC or European Environmental Agency. Then other actors are academic and research institutions, such as university and research center. Other producer of open data are non-governmental organizations that promoting awareness and knowledge on social, environmental, and humanitarian and cultural issues. And then another actors are online communities through collaboration platform, for example, GitHub or OpenStreetMap that release citizen observation and voluntary observation. Open data respects specific standards worldwide recognized. In this slide, we enlist most common formats that you can find on web platform. For example, we have textual open data, such as comma separated values or open document text, tabular data, such as open document spreadsheet or DBase file, hierarchical data, JSON or extens extensible markup language, graph base, such as resource description framework, and finally, geographic data. Most common format of geographic data are GJSON, KML, and shapefile. Regardless of the format, data must be readable and usable with open source platform and software. Open data platforms usually host different categories of data. The most common are geographic data, cultural data, science and education, economic, demographic, environmental, and public services such as health or transport. Some examples from European Union are the European Data Portal or the European Open Data Portal. Other examples can derive from single EU member states, such as Italy, Germany, Austria, or Czech Republic. Each of these countries and the other countries in the world usually have a national statistics organization that release open data on all aspects of, of society and environment and economy. Open geodata are a specific type of open data that allow to contextualize information into a geospatial dimension. The main characteristic 
that distinguish open geodata are spatial component. Geodata are defined by their own position on Earth by coordinates, longitude, latitude in a specific reference system. In alternative, we can also have the address that permit us to localize a specific point or specific information in a geographic context. The second characteristic are the attributes, because geodata include attributes or additional information associated with specific location. Another important characteristic is the geometry. Geometry represents the shape, such as point, line, or polygon, and the size of geographic object. The geometry is the part of a geographic data that we can represent and we can uh, edit in a specific tool that allow us to map data and information. And finally, the interoperability, because open geodata could be easily integrated and shared with other datasets in order to increase our information and our knowledge on a specific uh, information or specific phenomena that have impact on Earth and geographic context. And now let's introduce the big data. The term big data refers to extremely vast and complex data sets, data sets that exceed the capacity of traditional data management and analysis technologies to capture, store, process, and interpret effectively within a reasonable time frame. Big data are characterized by the four Vs. First volume, it refers to the large amount of data generated continuously. This data can come from various sources, such as sensors, social media, mobile devices, and more. Variety. Big data can have a wide variety of types and formats, including structured data, for example, relational database, unstructured data, for example, text, images, or video, or semi-structured data, for example, XML or JSON. The third V is the velocity. Data can be generated and collected at an incredible speed, often in real time. This speed requires tools and infrastructure structure that can handle the constant flow of data. And finally, the veracity. Veracity means quality and reliability of the data. Quality and reliability of the data can vary. Answering that the collecting data is accurate and representative is very important. User-generated content, or UGC, refers to any type of content such as text, images, videos, reviews, comment, or posts created and shared by users on online and digital platforms, such as Facebook, Instagram, and so on. These contents is gener are generated by users themselves rather than unofficial or professional sources. Essentially, UGC represent the creative and informative contribution of single person or online communities within a digital environment. Common examples of user-generated content include products, review on e-commerce sites, posts, photos on social media, comments on blogs and forums, video or video sharing platforms such as YouTube, and more. U UGC can reflect user opinions, experience, ideas, and personal contribution, creating an environment of active and interactive online participation. The Voluntary Geographic Information, or UGI, refers to geographic information voluntarily produced and released by individual private users. UGI represents a distinctive case within the broader phenomenon of user-generated content found on the web, enabling citizens to play a more active role in urban planning, environmental, and cultural monitoring activities. VGI is typical generated to geotagging, geotagging services available on the major social network, such as TripAdvisor, Flickr, Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. 
Thanks for your attention. For any information, please visit our website and follow us on social media channels.